Now see my tow ball there is on a frame. That frame actually came off a plow off a really, really tiny tractor, a little market garden thing. You couldn't possibly drag the plow beyond an ordinary tractor, you'd wreck it. But um, I welded on that bracket to hold the tow ball, which is great because it's on the three-point linkage. You back it up underneath the tow ball of the trailer, the hitch, you just lift it up. Makes life a hell of a lot easier. But I'm going to transform that old frame into a carry-all. Now, if you don't know what a carry-all is, it's basically just, just like that, except for it's got a floor in it and a wall at the tractor side and sometimes little walls at the ends. Now, I use this a lot when I'm out in the bush. I'll drag the trailer out in the bush and I'll take my chainsaw and axe and stuff out with me and we'll cut logs. I can just drop the trailer off quickly, pick up the logs with the 4-in-1 uh, bucket on the front, lift them into the trailer, and then hitch it up and drive home again. Now, the problem is, when your trailer's full of logs, you've got to put your chainsaw in everything somewhere. Okay, sometimes I put it in the bucket of the tractor, but I've made a mistake once of forgetting it was in there, and as I was going along, I thought, there's a bit of a hump in the track, I'll push a bit of dirt off the track, and, you know, I had a chainsaw full of dirt. Uh, so if I make this into a carry-all, yeah, there's a chain that I use and chainsaws and a couple of wedges and an axe. Just enough to fit that in, I'll be happy. And it needs a bit of a fix up too. The, the uh, section here is not strong enough. It's um, only 10 mil plate, but look at that. Well, I might just straighten them out and make another 10 mil and weld it to it so it's 20 mil thick. Same on both sides. Huh. says? This one looks a little more uh, rusted on. I'm going to tap with a hammer. <laughs> surprise. Surprise, surprise, surprise. It worked. There's always one problem with uh, trying to enlarge a hole with a hole saw is that how do you center it and uh, it's just going to cause you a whole heap of uh, issues so the way I solve this problem is just a piece of flat steel with a hole in it same size as your pilot hole in your um, hole saw and we put it underneath line it up clamp it down then start drilling a bit of WD-40 for uh, lubrication okay. Not bad going. Look, so that's a little pipe. That's pretty cool, eh?
the slots cut out. So uh, hopefully it all fits. We'll see. Perfect. Now we're just trying a bit of welding around here. Hold that in. Okay. okay. Cut the backboard. We'll do the next job. Well, I've got all the pieces made. Um, I just got to weld it all together now, uh, and then grind a few corners off here and there, I guess. Um, got my angle iron here cut for to go on the corners, like so. Now, just to strengthen up the corners. Got the longer ones for the back ones, of course. I've got two uh, pins lathed up. Uh, I'm just going to weld on a link of chain, like so, to uh, so you've got a handle on it. <clears throat> um, that's about it, so I'll get it just all tacked together and uh, give you another look before I mould it up solid. Okay, I've got it all welded up. I was just going to drill a few holes in the floor to uh, drain the water out if it gets wet and um, give it a coat of paint. Put it on the tractor and we're done. Um, I've also made up a couple of pins. Here, so those are right there. A um, bit of old axle I had. Um, cut them off, stuck them in a lathe, just turn them down to the right size. Hole through it, so we can put a clip pin through the end of it, put a chain on the end, link a chain, make a handle, and uh, they fit through. Right oh, there. So, anyway, yeah, they look good and solid. Okay, got some holes drilled in the bottom of it. Um, I'm just presently uh, running some Panatrol over it to help the paint stick. So, uh, I'll finish doing that and give it a coat of paint tomorrow. to uh, make one little modification, putting that on the trailer just then, testing it out, couldn't see the tow ball from where I sit in the tractor, which makes it a little bit difficult to uh, look on. So I'm just going to, um, I don't know, I'll mark it out, but cut a bit down like this I guess, something like that, just so I can get an eyeball onto that um, tow ball. Okay, I'm just going to cut that bit there out with the angle grinder. We'll have to touch up the paintwork later. Anyway, here we go. That's good. Makes it uh, perfectly easy to uh, see the tow ball now. Make it easy to uh, put the trailer on. Just back up and lift it up. All good. Yeah, I'll put some gear in there and uh, we'll have a look.
Okay, that's the finished thing. I just need a, a tiny bit of paint on that cut. <coughs> but it holds everything I wanted it to hold. Two chainsaws, the axe in the back, bucket, you know, this the tomahawk, wedges, WD-40, bottle of water. I normally just keep the uh, bar oil in there as well. Uh, bucket with the uh, towing chain on it. Um, fuel, that's it, that's all I need. Um, a bit, bit extra space here for a few other things. Might be able to get another bucket like this and put something in it if I need to. Anyway, that concludes that little build. On to the next project. I'm not uh, making videos for the purpose of making videos. I made these videos. Uh, on things that I'm doing anyway, like this carry all I was doing it for my own purposes. I just uh, think it's worth sharing with other people because other people might have might give them an idea so they can do something themselves. And uh, everything I do like that, if I think that it's other people would be interested in it, I'll make a video of it and post it. Now, if you like that sort of content of uh, yeah, fixing things, making things, modifying things. Yeah, please like and subscribe, share with your friends, and uh, I'll uh, see you in the next video. Thank you very much.